Now we're doing something a little different before we get to all the questions. I did ask for some viewer questions. I did it last minute. So we don't have a ton, which is good because we don't have that much time anyway, but okay. there's a few questions we were asked from people on YouTube and you know, I, I do a lot of research on these and I ask an abundance of questions as you know, which is why I have to do two interviews, three interviews to get through people's mm -hmm. careers. But you know, there's some stuff I wouldn't think to ask. For example, um, a YouTuber, a subscriber, uh, Kiro Tozawa, he, and not the real one, I don't think, uh, okay. he asked, has Tim Storm ever competed in Japan or in a JoJo? Have you ever gone to Japan? And if not, was that something you were ever wanting to do, hoping to do and just travel abroad in general? Like, uh, you know, you have, a lot of wrestlers would like to travel to England, this and that, but you have your job, like you have your profession right. away from that. So was that even anything you wanted to do? Um, yes and yes. I mean, it's it's absolutely something that I have had some opportunity to do. I look at my other job almost as a, um, it's something I have to do. Mm -hmm. uh, they're in my In my heart, there's nothing else I want to do besides wrestle. I mean, and that's the way it's always been for me. Um, if I have, I've, I've done it for stretches at a time where I've done nothing but wrestle. And um, if I could have my way, that's what I would be doing all the time. I defended the NWA uh, World's Heavyweight Championship in Japan. And I think probably... I don't want to give a percentage. I'm sure that changes all the time. But I think every wrestler wants to do that or wants to go to Japan. And uh, some of some of us would love to go on a regular basis. Some want to do it once. It's the it's like going to uh, you know to, to the holy lands of wrestling. It's it's a different world there as far as how wrestling has been perceived in the past. And I know there's it's trans it's over the last ten years we've kind of seen a little transition on that. But um, yeah, I've, I've wrestled in some small areas of Mexico, uh, Canada, um, Nigeria, oh, that's so cool. Japan. Uh, you know, it's it's. I would have loved to do. Japan was a wonderful experience, and I got to do that again. And well, I don't know how this comes up every time. So James, if you end up watching, my friend James Beard, who I seem to bring up in every uh, not on, not intentionally, it's just he's been such an integral part in my wrestling career and, and just a good friend um, went with, he was the, I don't know what his official term was, uh, official title under the old, uh, under the Bruce Tharp era of the right. NWA. But uh, Bruce, James, I defended the NWA world title there. Uh, the NWA tag titles were defended there all on one show. Uh, and it was uh, just an incredible experience. And what promotion did you say this was for? That's a great question. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no worries. I, I, I can't, I honestly can't remember it. You know, one of the things I think I was actually talking to um, J.R. Kratos mm -hmm. uh, this, this week during our TV tapings. And I know that uh, he and Homicide are going, and we were just coming up in the next couple of weeks, but we were talking about wrestling in Currican Hall, and I didn't get to do that. You know, and that would be something that I would that I would have loved to do. And there's other venues, but that's like, you know, from our hotel room where we were sitting, we could see it was out our window. We could see that. And, um, you know, I, I would have loved to have done that. This was a smaller promotion. Mm -hmm. And I um, will show my my really lack of memory. This is how deep I get. I think it had the word diamond in it. OK, that's all <laughs> I, got. That, that's, uh, that's I so honestly cool, can't remember. It's such a cool opportunity, and uh, I'm very glad you did that. I wish I had that in my notes because I definitely would have talked about it more and did a little more research. But I, I just think it's super cool that you got to experience that because I get, so much of your success came so much later in your career, mm -hmm. and that's what I find so fascinating. Like The same thing, like I said, we talked to Tyler Bateman, and uh, he's been a great guest, great guy. And, you know, he, broke, he got into Ring of Honor in New Japan after almost, you know, 15, 18 years in wrestling. Right. And your story is similar where you really took off in the end. Of, like you were already part of the NWA, but the NWA and your role in it really started taking off so much later. So I just think it's so fascinating to see all those opportunities come later on. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. It, great experience. I mean, it, it's because of the history of professional wrestling in Japan, they, their, their respect, the way they approach it, the fandom in general um, was it's, it's taken to a different level. 
Yeah, I know even like just getting off, just arriving at the hotel and uh, getting off, uh, you know, getting out of the shuttle or whatever we were on, you know, there were already fans waiting. And, you know, we we have, obviously, we have a lot of fans in the United States. Mm -hmm. um, but these these fans knew who was going to be there, what where they were wrestling. You know, we were, they have, I would call them almost storyboards or collector's items they have prepared for each person. Um I wrestled a guy, I believe is was Hama, I think is is the way it's pronounced, but he was a former sumo, former uh, MMA guy. Um and it was uh it was a it was a it was a good experience overall. You know, I mean it's that when I when I got there they asked like we like you know, I have my music, uh, but they very specifically wanted me to come out to what they termed the NWA music that Harley race and, and everybody else came out to, out to. And as a fan of, as a fan of the history of wrestling that hit home with me. Oh, that's um, cool. I really felt like coming through the curtains. I was fully prepared not to be a fan favorite because I was wrestling a Japanese wrestler in Japan. Mm -hmm. And, um, there was, I got a, there was a, a huge reaction. And I won't, I won't say it was, I uh, might've been 50, 50. It might've even been a little more in my favor. And I was not, I didn't expect that at all. Yeah. I thought, okay, you know, an American coming in against someone who was a fairly well-known uh, wrestler in Japan, that's Japanese. I thought, okay, I'm I'm going to be prepared for it, but I wasn't prepared for the positive, you know, positive entrance I got. That's super cool. That's super. And that uh, just shows how likable you are. The fact that that translates in any language in any country, it's very cool.